everybody welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a youtube thumbnail so first thing you must have photoshop if you don't have you can go on google and download a trial version of photoshop and then you can follow along okay so open up your photoshop So, in today's video, we are going to make a thumbnail which looks like this one. Yeah. So, what you do first is, you go to File, you click on New Document, New Project, I mean, and then you can just copy my dimensions, and then you, you create, you click on Create, So you have your first project and then you go back to file to import your image and then you click on open and then you select your image file and then you open it and then for better view you go on zoom, you zoom it. So after you zoom it, you click on pen tool to cut out yourself. So you click on pen tool. So if you make a mistake with a pen tool, the best way to undo is to press delete. Yeah, you see, then you can click again, delete, and then you can make a new one. Then you can make a new one. So this is not the only way you can cut out yourself. You can also use the magic tool, but the pen tool is the best tool for cutting out yourself because it's smooth, you know. When you make a mistake, you click delete. So I think I need to zoom it a little bit more. So I'll just fast forward from here so that I don't waste much of your time.
Okay, now we have finished cutting out our subject. So you click on um, zoom fit screen. We are back to normal, and then you right click and then you go where it says make selection then you put 15 there on feather 15 then you click ok and then at this point what you basically do is you come down here and click on add, add the mask yeah we have automatically cut out ourselves now what is remaining is we have to make a background so for a background you have to place a layer you have to make a new layer so on layer and then you go on blush you look for a blush it's there and then you click on the new layer and then you just basically start painting it just paint it Okay, so after we paint it, we will take our background layer down below our subject. Wow. Now we, we have already made the background. And as you can see, the person is not looking that smooth. So what we are going to do is we are going to double click on the layer, on this layer. yep and then we are going to click on outer grow and as soon as we clicked outer grow we've got the growing outside so what you basically do is you have to reduce the size if you think that's too much you can reduce the size from the outer grow and display And then um, you can um, and then you can go and drop shadow. Double click there on drop shadow as well. You have to reduce the size. Size. <clears throat> and display probably the distance to here yeah. and then you click OK yep and then last but not the least we can add our text so if we want to add text <coughs> we simply click on T for text and then we just place it like that just like that we have our text and our text is in white which is nice so we can just simply go in there and write our text so our text will be how to make a YouTube a YouTube thumbnail thumbnail C 
So we'll go on click on the text layer after you click it click control J to duplicate it control J control J to duplicate it again one more time oh so, okay so we've got three layers make the weights be big what you basically do is you press Ctrl T and then you just drag it. And then you do the same so this is the outcome of our thumbnail so this is how you can make a youtube thumbnail okay guys so in case if you didn't understand how to make a text you simply click on t then you go there and then you basically light your text so in this case I'll just play it YouTube YouTube and then as I said earlier on if you want to make it to make the weight big just press Ctrl T and then you can choose if you want your words to slant to be more italic yes uh, yeah and then you can just drag drag it from there And then you can put it there. Then you can simply double click on the word. On the word layer. And then you can add outer grow. After you add outer grow. And then you can add texture. Again you just go on the word layer and double click and hard texture so this is the outcome so this is how i create my text for the thumbnail so this is how you make a youtube thumbnail text on your thumbnail yeah in my last tutorial my pc froze so i didn't show how you can light a proper weight so this is how you make a youtube text yeah so just like before you merge the files and then you export Okay, we change the name. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and share.